Hey everybody. So we're gonna going to marinate can marinated mushrooms. And I have two pounds and they're kinda big. Hold on. Okay, sorry, life's happening around here, I guess. So, I have two pounds of mushrooms. Now, ideally, you would want the small ones, like what I canned the other day, so if I could reverse the buying situation, I would, but. So I have big ones, and one of the ways you can tell that you have fresh mushrooms is the cap is still attached to the stem. So you wanna wash them really well, you want to cut the stem off even with the, the cap. And then with the stems, you can dehydrate those and make mushroom powder so you're not wasting anything. Now normally you would not cut your mushrooms. You'd use the little ones. And you can use a variety, if you want, of small mushrooms or just small button mushrooms, whatever you like. So going to chance it and I'm going to cut them in half because they're just going to be too big for half pint jars and the noise you hear over there, not the dogs, is my jars are in the water bath and I want to keep them hot because everything I'm doing is going to be hot. So I'm getting these ready to blanch, and since I'm only doing two pounds, I'm going to half the recipe. But I will give you the full recipe, and the full recipe calls for seven pounds of mushrooms. And then I will give you the measurements for everything when I'm done slicing these in half. So get your pen and paper. And I will run off all the ingredients. What do you think? I think that one can stay. <laughs> Hopefully that'll do. So, what we want in our first pot is two quarts of water. You're going to want half a cup of bottled lemon juice. one and a half cups of olive oil or salad oil, vegetable oil, two and a half cups, turn this where I see it, two and a half cups white vinegar, one tablespoon dried oregano, one tablespoon dried basil, one tablespoon of dry parsley, one tablespoon of canning salt, half a cup of onion finely chopped, four ounces drained and chopped pimento, 12 to 15 garlic cloves whole and peeled, and 25 black peppercorns. So I'm going to add my half a cup of lemon juice to my boiling water. And I didn't half that. I figured that was enough no matter how many mushrooms you do. There's my lemon juice. I like Boozies. But you can use any brand available to you. So I'm going to turn the burner on over in that pot. I'm 
I'm going to add my oil, my vinegar, my herbs, my pimento, and my salt. So I'm going to use three-fourths of a cup of oil. And my bottle only has a half a cup, so I gotta go get a bottle. Okay, so I have my three quarter cups of oil in that pot. I'm gonna go ahead add the mushrooms to our water. The lemon juice is to hopefully keep them from turning color. the hopes anyways. So if you noticed the ones that I canned regular changed color. Okay, so we're going to boil those for five minutes. I have my one and a half cups of vinegar. I had to get more of that too. Everything ran out on me. And then for the onion, I'm just going to go ahead and use a tablespoon of dried minced onion. So I have my oregano, basil, parsley, onion. That all goes in there. And you want to bring this to a boil. I have a tablespoon of the pimento. I don't need a whole jar. Like I said, I'm only doing two pounds, not seven. And if you don't have pimento, can't find pimento at the store, you can roast off a red bell pepper, put it in a baggie and let it steam. Do it under the broiler. If you have a gas stove, you can do it over the fire or on the grill. Put it in a baggie, let it steam up, and then that skin will come off real easy. And then just um, mince that up, and you have pimento. And the rest of that pimento, I'll just make some pimento cheese. I'm going to use a half a tablespoon of my canning salt. This is almost empty too. There we go. So we have everything in there. I just need my peppercorns and garlic cloves and those will go in whole in your jar with your mushrooms those around. The purpose of doing this with the mushrooms is so you shrink out some of that air. You don't want that to happen in your jar because then it won't be full. And then like I said the lemon juice is to keep their color. They'll probably take on the color of the herbs. And yeah. To get them going before we put the marinade on. Anything hot absorbs a marinade better for whatever reason. It's a science thing. Stir that up. And when this comes up to a boil, we will come back and fill our jars. I'll show you. Ah. That's what that looks like. I grabbed you funny because the leg went really long on me when I picked up the tripod. So that's our marinade. Basil, parsley, oregano, onion, pimento, salt, oil, and vinegar. And you'll want to let these sit for about six weeks. 
or however long you can wait, but for maximum flavor. Let them sit for six weeks and soak up that goodness. So I'll be back when that there is ready. Okay, our brine is boiling, our mushrooms are ready, and I'm gonna get jars out of the pot. We're going to add one garlic clove, two or three peppercorns, Sorry, I watched <coughs> everything. Fill our jar. Get another jar. They smell good already. Take our brine. Stir your brine really well so the oil and vinegar and spices <clears throat> are all mixed up. I'm sorry, my allergies are just out of control. It looks so yummy. Fill it up to one half inch of headspace. Mix it up. Get those herbs and spices from the bottom. Fill to one inch of headspace. And then this one, I'm going to add my garlic clove and peppercorns. Get some vinegar. For this you want to use vinegar because of the oil. You want to make sure there is no oil on the rim of your jar. I'm feeling discombobulated. You know sometimes in the kitchen things go really smooth and then other times not so much. But usually the not so much times, my kitchen will end up more of a disaster. And it's the dishes are done, clean as you go, dishwasher is unloaded. It's probably the Benadryl. I'm blaming the Benadryl. Very hot jars. Fingertip tight, not too tight, not too loose. And we will fill another one. That marinade smells really good. You could use that as an Italian dressing as well. It's pretty much the same as any packaged stuff you could get. Add some onion powder, garlic powder. It smells like a Good seasons, Italian. It 
So this, this is probably why you want to do as many mushrooms as you can get your hands on. So we'll add our garlic clove and peppercorns. Add a little more garlic. What the heck? Don't want to have any leftovers. Disabled Prepper is growing some mushrooms. I've seen those mushroom kits. They were really expensive when I saw them. Maybe I'm not looking in the right place. And debubble. If you forget to debubble, don't freak out. It's okay. I'm not going to freak out. So debubble. Nothing bad happened. My vinegar. Wipe the rims. Remember that's half inch of head space. Very hot jar, be careful. Put on your cap. Rim. Fingertip tight. You're going to water bath these for 20 minutes. So this water's already boiling. Oh, that marinade smells so good. I'm going to save the rest for salad dressing. Or veggies or whatever. So there we go. Set your timer for 20 minutes. Mine's still at a rolling boil. And I will see you when they're coming out. And I clean up my mess. Alrighty, they're ready. And they held their color. They look nice. So I have my last project of the day finished. It was the small one. Let's see how we can get a pretty screenshot for the thumbnail. So there they are. See, they still have their color. That one looks like the herbs all floated to the top. And all your herbs and stuff will settle. And, but yeah, there you go. Marinated mushrooms, 20 minutes in the water bath. Um, I did half the batch and I got three half pints out of two pounds. So, you know, if you can get more mushrooms, do as many as you can at a time but also have to work with what jars you have and stuff too. You don't have to can these. You can jar this up, let it cool, and then put it in the refrigerator and let them marinate if you don't want to can them. Um, if you don't have a canner, you can use a pot and any kind of rack at the bottom that fits that pot as long as your jars are covered with at least an inch of water and do it that way so you don't have to have a canner to water bath you just need a rack at the bottom and it needs to cover the jars the, the boiling water so I hope you like the recipe like comment subscribe it really helps the channel and stay safe stay healthy and I will see you all in the next video bye